do, I guess I will introduce Dion Taylor. Turn the music on. Turn me up. Hey, what's going on? Man, first off, let me just say um, thank you so much, everybody. Straight up, man. This is, um, I'm back here and uh, I can't see everybody, but I have seen everybody. For y'all to just understand, this tonight is all built from independence. Yes. Man, give it up, man. It's great. Yeah. Up, man. We, we walk around out there, I'm like, yo, this looks like MTU. <laughs> man, this is crazy. I love y'all, man. I love everybody in here. There's so much family and energy in here, in the room. I think I ought to try to shake everybody's hand. But this is a special night for us because We've been doing this for a very long time, which you know. Um, we've been trying to scream from the rappers, like, yo, look at the shit we doing out here. <laughs> and people are beginning to catch on. But this movie tonight um, is beyond words based on the fact that it's probably the most important movie I've ever made. And I've made some really cool movies that are personally my favorite, Supremacy, with Mahershala Ali and Danny Glover. That was something that was dear to me. Black and Blue with Tyrese and Naomi Harris. Um, Trap Supremacy, I remember making that movie about a white supremacist. True story that comes into a home, invades a black family. And I remember going to do a promotional marketing tour and every radio station told me they didn't want to talk to me about that movie because it was too much of a hot button. Now, everybody want to have a conversation. So this movie, I want you guys to be here tonight because it's special based on the fact that two years ago, and I just said this out here earlier in the live, I want you guys to all listen to this for a minute before we turn on, because y'all gonna go crazy, it's, it's great. You're gonna have a good time. <laughs> now everybody's tough. Now everybody, oh, it's a conspiracy. I wouldn't take that, I wouldn't. Two years ago, I was in the house with my kids watching body bags come out of hospitals. And while I was watching that happen, I was terrified, not for myself, but for my son who has asthma, my daughter who had, I was like, man, what? I don't know how to deal with that if they get whatever that is. And whether you was a Trump supporter or not, during that moment, not, I don't want to get into y'all know I get into that. <laughs> Not. I remember this is how in, in, in fear I was about what this was, trying to figure it out for my family. I remember they used to do the thing every Wednesday where they would go up there and address. Remember that? With the people and they have all the doctors and and I remember going like, damn man, I hope Trump come up here and say something good today. <laughs> and when I I was rooting for something, I was living in fear. And shortly after that, we watched the man get his neck kneeled on for 12 minutes. And there was civil unrest. We led a march with 80,000 people where I live at, with mask on, my son with mask on. And it was at that moment that I was like, man, I refuse to allow fear to live in me anymore. And, and I'm telling you all this because I want you to, I want you to receive what I'm telling you. I picked up a phone. Of course, Roxanne was like, yeah, I'm with you, but she like, this motherfucker crazy. <laughs> Who you want me to call, Dion? I'm like, call her. We started calling people. I called King Batch. I called T.I. I called Joseph Sikora. John Ferry at the time, who's in here, was my assistant. And I was like, John, I got this idea for the script, man. We can write it together right now over the phone. And he was like, what? What is it? So I said, I'm gonna start sending you stuff. We found a location, we went to location. Joseph Secor said, I'm in New York, what you want me to do? I said, get in your car and drive to me. We gonna shoot this. Originally, we was gonna do it with a cell phone. And then I was like, no, nah, man, we can really do this. Let me, this is me. I'm like, we can really do this shit. I called Chris Duskin, who's in here. Where you at, Chris? Where he's at, man? One of the most prolific cinematographers risk taker, just as crazy as me. I was like, Chris, you think we get a crew? 
He was like, are you fucking crazy? I'm like, no, I'm serious. Think we get a crew and go to this place? He showed up. We all descended on this place. And we made this film you guys are going to see. And what was incredible about the movie was at first I was so passionate making it. I was so excited. But there was a moment on the movie set where King Batch at the time did a scene and was a little nervous and a little scared because of what we was doing and he threw up. <laughs> and I remember going, and I remember going, that you okay? And going to him and before I could get to him, we heard a camera drop. And then another camera gets set down and the crew started leaving. And I was like, hey, what's going on? And I went outside and the guy said, man, how do you know we're not all infected right now? And at that moment, at that moment was when I was like, wow, I don't know. And it took a lot for me because I had to understand very quickly as a black man, as a black female producer, as owners of our own company, that all 29, 30 people in this lodge life is responsible, we're responsible for it. And that night, driving back, I was like, thinking to myself, like, man, you crazy as hell, like, you lost your mind. And something just told me, no, man, get really, really focused and finish this. I told the actors, I said, man, y'all gotta deliver in this film because if not, why do we do this? When we wrapped the film, it ended up being the first movie that was ever made in the global pandemic. Period. We didn't shoot it with Zoom, we didn't shoot it with Camcord, we shot a movie. And I'm really proud of it. So tonight, as you're watching this film, I want you to understand what the real message is. The power of manifestation. Whatever the human mind can manifest, it will become a reality. If you manifest, I'm not good enough, they don't like me, damn, watch what, they, I wonder if I can. If you manifest darkness and hate, this is what your reality will become. If you manifest light, I can do it, I'm trying, I'm pushing, I will get there, I will make it, this becomes your life. You understand this? So, once the mind works, and the manifestation works, it then speaks to the tongue. The tongue puts it into the world. Whatever it is you're trying to do, understand you can do it. This movie is about Faith and fear. And the most dangerous emotion we have, which is called fear. Fear will make you die. And I said, let's wrap this thing into this film and let's give it to the people. I don't care what nobody think. I know who's going to receive the film. So tonight, man, y'all watch this movie. I hope you love it. If you love it, please, man, tell a friend. Please uh, what, what, uh, put it on your gram, your Snapchat. My daughter's in here. Put it on whatever you own, Milan. <laughs> See me on so much stuff. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what that is. is. The cast is everybody here. Can everybody? The cast, please stand up. Stand up. Woo!